morning. It is Saturday. This is our view of the Anaheim area. And if you're wondering, Disneyland is just further down that way. We're not able to see it because we're like probably about a mile away from Disneyland. But yeah, this is our view and the room, which I showed you guys already. Good morning, now that you guys can see me. So I am dressed, we're about to start our day. Savannah's in the shower. I'm actually about to go to the front desk because they do pre-packaged breakfast here. The restaurant is not open or anything like that. So I'll go get it and see what we can eat. All right, first floor. Do you guys ever notice how there's never a 13th floor, or technically there is, but they don't call it 13th, so 11, 12, 14, yeah. So this sandwich is cold and you have to heat it up. So I guess I can take it home, because I promised her this weekend I will try out her vegan lifestyle and just to give her some support for this weekend, wow. I really have a lot of respect for vegans because even the chocolate muffin, because it contains milk and eggs, then they wouldn't be able to eat this. Yeah, eggs, milk, yep. So I think the only thing I could eat out of here right now is the apple and this, as long as there's no milk products in it or something like that, orange juice. So. Yeah, y'all, what did I agree to? I forgot to tell you guys yesterday that I didn't vlog it because I was driving because I'm supposed to show you guys all of our vegan foods that we eat for the weekend. On the way here, we had Carl's Jr. because they have a Beyond Beef burger that's there that's vegan and I ate that while I was driving. So other than that, and then when we came back to the hotel, I wasn't really hungry. I had a few snacks, um, nuts and then water and that was pretty much it. So we're on this tour bus. We're all the way in the back. Actually, Savannah, I think I may go up one because the sun right there, I don't know. Like that forever. I know, we'll see. They only have the top open right now because of COVID. So yeah, we but leave we shortly. Top anyway, so. Yes, we wanted the top anyway. So it's about 10 minutes until the tour actually starts. And yes, we're in the back. We have our headphones. So once again, I probably can't vlog everything because you guys won't be able to hear what they're saying and it'll just be windy. So we just got off the bus, but it's hop on hop off service. And so what we're doing is waiting for the next bus to come so we can do the beach line. And then we'll hop back on this one to do the Beverly Hills line and all that so so I hope you guys can hear me but we are on Santa Monica Boulevard and I think over there is the building that they use for Beverly Hills Cop so fun fact that we found out so this is Beverly Hills and the fire hydrants are painted platinum because it would be an eyesore if they're orange or red and there are no power lines or billboards here and the Beverly Hills sign, if you use that to make profit, you would have to pay money to the city of Beverly Hills. Like they need the more money, right? I hope you guys could hear all that. So this bus that we're on does not have a covering. And we're on our way to the beach.
Hollywood tour, we decided to come take a picture of the Beverly Hills sign. So in that building over there, there's public restrooms and they're actually clean, you guys. That's because we're in Beverly Hills. And can you believe I'm standing in grass? Look at this. Great. For those of you that don't know, I don't like grass. I don't do grass, I don't walk in grass. But this grass is okay. Just to let y'all see, there are cameras everywhere here in Beverly Hills. Back on the line we're supposed to be on, it has a covering, so we're shaded and the wind is not blowing as much. In the room and I'll give you guys a review of what we did later but Savannah found a vegan restaurant close to the hotel and even though this right here I think it said chicken everything was in parentheses so it's actually not real chicken or if you were to get something with shrimp or something like that it's not real and Savannah and I are going to share the spring rolls and this shrimp in here is not real shrimp either. And then it's, it's, it's soy, it's soy shrimp and then the peanut sauce. Oh yeah, it's soy chicken or whatever this is. So, and then Savannah got some kind of soup. Chili thingy, like, yeah. Chili thingy soup, okay. Okay, so to say that the meat is, the meat is soy, I was gonna say soy flavored, but. If someone told you what's that, would you would grow? If someone was what? Told you like, um, no, because you can tell the texture is different, but it's not nasty at all. So I do recommend this place. What was it called? We're waiting to get in. We went in the Disney store. And we got some stuff I will show you guys later. And yeah. and I accidentally ate dairy. <laughs> <laughs> she did. She's like, what? Chocolate. Yeah. Ooh, you guys, so we are back from downtown Disney. And I know I didn't vlog a whole lot there. I'm looking for my phone. I know I just brought it here. Okay, it's 9.45. So I was gonna vlog in um, the confectionery store, but I just didn't. It was hot still, even though the sun has gone down. And we were tired. We finally got in. So let me show you guys things that I got at the World of Disney store. Okay, so this right here, I got just a bunch of tea and Carol, I actually seen your videos a while back that you had some tea from Disneyland. So I have been wanting to get one for a long time. So I finally got that. And then the candy apple right here. You know what? That's not the one I told her to get. Wow. And I did not even see her put this one in the bag. <sighs> okay, whatever. I mean... I guess you can't go wrong, but the one that I pointed to was the apple pie one. I don't know, it had um, big, huge marshmallow, mini ears, whatever, I don't know. Um, so I got that, and then this right here, my battery is flashing, but I'm gonna keep going. This right here is churro toffee, so I guess the powder on top, not the powder, oh my gosh, you guys. The cinnamon and sugar that's on top of the toffee right there. So that. And from the World of Disney store, I didn't get that much. Let me hold on. Okay, so didn't get that much, but got a keychain for Cheyenne, and I think this is the Millennial Falcon or the Millennium Falcon. Falcon? I don't know. It's Star Wars, so um, yeah, got that for her. Got some candy and they are buy one get one free so that and also this shirt right here this is mine I think it's super cute how it gathers right there and let me see if I can hold it up for you guys or try to spread it out so you guys can see so 
just Mickey and Minnie and it says Disneyland and it has these little little rhinestones or whatever on it but I think it's super cute you guys and then I don't think no it doesn't have anything on the back okay and this right here yes Melissa girl I am copying you because I think a subscriber bought her one a while back and ever since I seen it I wanted one I'm not really into Mary Poppins but this is cute but is not it's so weird looking that I just had to get it and yeah I've only seen it a couple times it's not like one of my favorite Disney shows or Disney movies so anyway I got that I don't know what about this mug that I like so much it's cute but it's not cute I don't know but I like it and I got it that's it it's hot today and you know how you sweat and you just get all sticky and icky feeling well the way I am is I have to take a shower before I go to bed every night that's just me but I don't want to sit on the bed and sit on the sheets with dirty clothes and stuff like that so Savannah's actually in the shower right now so I'm in this living room area let me show you guys it's super cute I think that's the show mom that's on I'm not sure I don't know whatever but just in here chilling waiting for her to come out that way I can get in the shower good so, morning it is Sunday I'm actually headed out to go get the breakfast that they give us um, Savannah is getting ready we are going home today so let's just go get breakfast and then when I come back I'm gonna review on the bus tour that we went on so let's go it's so peaceful out of here and the elevators are over there and over there and when no one is staying in the rooms I'll see if I can show you guys They put a blue sticker on there like that. That way you know they've cleaned it and sanitized it the way they're supposed to now. And after I get the breakfast, I am going to have to turn the camera off and use both of my hands because, oh, here we go. Because it will be heavy first one. You guys, so I went out and I didn't realize it till I got to the desk that I forgot my mask. So I was looking like one of those people who cover their mouths like this and I'm like, I should go up and get my mask because I believe in not only protecting myself, protecting others. And the lady at the front desk, she looked at me and I said, I'm so sorry. I stepped far back from the counter, you know, just to make her feel comfortable. And I said, I forgot my mask. I said, I can go up and get it. And she said, no, how many breakfasts do you need? So I got my breakfast and I told her, I said, which is true. I said, sometimes I'll go into the store and I'll forget it in the car and I'll have to run back and go get it. And she said, she does the same thing. So I felt bad, you guys. So let me show you the breakfast that we got. and. Remember, now, these are not going to waste. So even though I'm doing a vegan weekend, I'm still going to save what I don't eat for, I'll take it like to work for breakfast or something like that. Let me flip it so that way you guys can see everything. Okay. So it came with a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel. Yesterday it was a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Today a banana nut muffin and apple. And then the Nature Valley Raisin Oatmeal um, bar. And so I will only be eating this and this. My whole thing of going vegan ends when I get home. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm sitting in the living room and I have you guys propped up. So I wanted to give you a review of 
the tour we went on yesterday in case any of you are ever coming to California and go to Hollywood and like, ooh, they're giving tours. I will tell you how I personally felt and Savannah felt some kind of way also. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a review of these masks that I got a while back when everything shut down, Disney had masks available on their website. And I have the rest at home, but this is the Little Mermaid one. The first set that they sent me, it was a pack of four. It was large, but they were misshapen and they just weren't made correctly. It's, you know, was supposed to be large, but one of them could fit a child and the ear loops were like, it, it was just really weird. And I think I did show you guys. Most of their complaints right now with these masks are that they're misshapen and they're not right. So he ended up sending me four more free ones. Um, I didn't have to pay anything. Better made than the other ones. They're not misshapen. You know, the ear loop is not like like this. It was like this on some of them. And it, it was just really weird. And it, it would only fit a kid. And I'm an adult. So anyway, but I want to just give you a review on this. So it's pretty thick and it doesn't have a place where you can put one of those filters in, even though I was thinking about cutting it open and putting one in. But I tried this yesterday and it's really thick. It's, to me, this is hard to breathe in. And it's not just one layer, it's actually, it's three layers that are inside. So I think this kind, yep, it's three layers. This kind is actually, I wouldn't have needed to cut it open and then put the filter in it. So this kind has the three layers in it and it probably has a small filter in it or I don't know anyway, but it was hard to breathe and not that bad, but I kept it on because I'm like, let me just give it a chance, you know, whatever. But this kind was hard to breathe for me. So I probably won't be wearing these like if the parks open in Disneyland or whatever like that. Um, and that's just me personally. So anyway, to the review on the bus tour, so last time we were here last weekend um, on the Sunday that we were leaving, we decided to go do a celebrity tour, a tour to celebrity homes because Etna said it was open. And when we went, maybe about six weeks ago, something like that, a lot of places were, were still closed. So we couldn't do that. And now a lot of places here in California, our governor has not opened up everything at all. That's the reason why Disneyland is not open. There are stores that are open that you go inside, but as far as eating, seating has to be outside. So that's where we are as far as opening. I mean, it's slowly opening, but everything's not opening up. So anyway, now that she told us that, Last week, we wanted to do the four hour tour, but we wanted to do the celebrity tour. Okay, we'll come back and, you know, do the four hour tour, which is the reason why, one of the reasons why we came this weekend, because we, you know, just wanted to get away again. So we decided to go to, um, there's a lot of different places on the streets that when you walk by, they're like, hey, you want a tour or whatever, different companies, and they're trying to get their money. Be sure they lost a lot of money because, you know, they were shut down. So anyway, so I didn't, vlog a whole lot and thought I had the brochure but I think I threw it away but it was from Big Bus Tours if you guys can see it's still focusing on me Big Bus Tours and in this bag it was these headphones individual headphones that they gave to everyone and of course you can keep them because you know it goes in your ear so they gave us that to hear them talking because of things that are going on right now only the top was open and we looked and we're like, okay, towards the back of the bus, they had like, I don't know what else to call it, but a tarp, some kind of covering where you can be shaded from the sun. Okay, no big deal. So this, I wish I would have kept the brochure so I could tell you exactly where. This tour was four hours and I would say maybe it was five hours. One bus line, it was called the Blue Line. It took you to Marina Del Rey, Santa Monica Pier, um, two other places by the beach and at all these stops you can get off if you want to and they'll tell you like the next few times that you can hop back on the bus we decided not to get off we decided to only get off when we needed to transfer she suggested that we do the beach tour first and then when we get back in a certain spot get off that bus 
hop back on the red line and then do the Hollywood tour. Not the celebrity homes, but just Hollywood tour. So we did it that way. So when we got on the blue line to go to the beach, that bus did not have a tarp on it as, at all. And so I'm like, okay, not that bad. It was hot, but it wasn't like the sun was beaming. And I'm, I'm laughing because I'm just uh, picturing myself yesterday in Savannah. Anyway, um, it was interesting, but they had a recording playing as far as what we're looking at, where we are, and the majority of the time the recording was off. So she would say something on the recording and we were like, where is it? And then we get to it and then, or sometimes it'd be behind, it was just off. It wasn't, we're pulling up to this, oh, look to your left, this is whatever. So we had to figure out which side of the street it was on and, you know, it was just totally off and that made it, you know, not that great. If I'm on a tour and I'm trying to hear something or whatever. I need to know where it is. And then because it was so windy and that particular bus didn't have a tarp over it, my hair was flying. Y'all know. Okay, this is the only ponytail I brought this weekend, right? And after a while, it got to a point to where I was just holding my ponytail down. And yes, this has combs in it and I still secure it with hairpins. But y'all know the wind ain't no joke. So the majority of the time I'm trying to hold my ponytail down to keep it from flying off because I'm like ponytail comes off tours over take me home I did I'm done <laughs> and then because the bus is so tall they warn you sometimes of trees or whatever so I spent most of my time not only holding my ponytail but ducking when I seen trees coming or you know the tree branches and Savannah was doing the same thing and I'm thinking all I can think of is what if I go under one of the trees and a branch just snatched my ponytail off and it's hanging in the tree. And I'm sitting there looking like looking like a crazy woman. Tour over, take me home. So I could have gone without that tour. It wasn't, not that it wasn't interesting. I'm sure if I got off and we seen some sites of like Santa Monica Pier, but probably not a lot of things were open, I don't know. So then we got back on the red line and did the Hollywood tour. And that one did have a covering over it towards the back. So even though it was windy, on that one, I did not have to hold, worry about holding my ponytail at all. So that was okay. And so they did take us around places showing us, you know, where like where Biggie Smalls, the intersection where he was gunned down. They showed us that. They showed us um, Paramount Studios. I think I did get a video of that. Graveyard over there where celebrities are buried. Um, and they just took us around giving us the history of like Hollywood, Sunset Boulevard, and you know, we went through Rodeo Drive again and stuff like that. So we seen all of that. But because the recording was so off, at a point it was just like, we're basically being chauffeured around because I lost interest in what the lady was saying. If you're coming to Hollywood and you do the four hour tour, I'm just saying it's, yeah, you may like it, but I don't know if it's because we live here, I don't live in Hollywood, but because we live in California, I don't know, but I could have went without the tour, the four hour tour. And actually, I think if I would have went on the bus line that Aetna had, I would have enjoyed myself more for the celebrity cruise because they didn't have to wear earphones on their cruise, um, on their tour, I'm sorry. So maybe next time we come, I can we can get a different celebrity home tour that doesn't require you to wear headphones and then that way I can vlog that for you guys, but that will probably be a while because now it's like the thrill is gone, I'm done with Hollywood and yeah, for those of you who think Hollywood is this some fabulous place, whatever, maybe it used to be a long time ago, but no, Hollywood is dirty. There, California has a lot of homeless, which is really sad. There's a lot of homeless people, and Hollywood is not even where the stars live. You know, they live in the Hollywood Hills, Beverly Hills, and, you know, gated communities and stuff like that. So, anyway, you guys, that was my review on the big bus tour, the four hour tour that we went on. It ended up being five hours because when we got off one bus, there was like a 30 minute layover um, that we had to wait for the next bus. And then where did the other 30 minutes come from? I don't know, maybe one bus just took longer than expected. So yeah, even though it was nice to be chauffeured around, you know, 
it was still to me it was like it kind of wasn't worth it oh it was fifty dollars i don't know if i told you guys um it was fifty dollars for the whole tour to be able to see the coastline and all like that and the beach tour and then you know you do the hollywood tour so i don't know maybe it would have been better if we would have gotten off um, on Santa Monica Pier and walked and seen some stuff. I don't know, but to me, it just, no. I was And I was so excited to get on this tour too. When I woke up yesterday morning, I'm like, woo, let's go, whatever. But yeah, it was kind of a disappointment. I had more fun going back to downtown Disney. We're on our way out. This is all my stuff right here. We were here for two days, you guys, and I have all of this. And they don't do housekeeping in between. And just like you, Edna, when I seen your videos, I'm like, yeah, that's nice. So I tried to put our garbage in, you know, these bags like that, make it a little bit easier for them. But we're leaving now, so I actually have to put my camera away. I can't vlog it um, because, as you can see, I have a lot of things to carry out. Forgot to show you guys my vegan breakfast. It's just oatmeal cooked in almond milk, and then I got green tea matcha with almond milk as well all right you guys we are home and i'm actually about to end the vlog here because i probably won't vlog the rest of the day or if i do it'll be later and it'll be on the next video so it's 2 30 now we got home about two o'clock i've already unpacked put everything away um, i'm about to start laundry so yeah my vegan weekend is done so for dinner i will have my regular dinner non-vegan dinner and i must say i have respect for vegans out there if you guys are vegans and or know a true vegan and one that doesn't do dairy i give you props because you have to think about and ask you know what's in it whatever before you eat it i have so much respect for you you are so anyway um i actually had fun doing it i may do it more often not all the time didn't have anything for lunch because i wasn't hungry so i know we got breakfast from the hotel that I didn't eat. I thought I was gonna eat that little granola bar and then the apple, I ended, I ended up not eating that. I just brought it home. We went to Starbucks and I gassed up and I did show you guys the food from Starbucks. And I had that and that's it. That's it for my um, vegan meal. Yeah, and so we actually left Anaheim maybe about 8.30 and we got home at two. So we made good time. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.